talking about mental awareness during this lockdown, how to manage our mental health. We have joining us via uh, Skype to speak about that. Uh, during this lockdown, how to take care of our mental health is Ayodeji Lawrence, who is a counsellor and coach. Good to have you this morning, Ayodeji. Good morning. So glad to be here. Now, how are you coping, first of all, with the lockdown? Well, um, as a counsellor, I'm very busy in this season. There are quite a number of people calling in for, you know, for help, for encouragement. So it's been a very busy season for me. Yeah. All right. So I'm uh, coping on well. Yeah. Okay, so would you say incidents uh, such as this lockdown is likely to increase cases of uh, mental health during this period? Oh, yes, it will. Because mm. quite a number of people are not as busy as before. A lot they used to hide behind their jobs and vocations, you know, can no longer do that because things have slowed down considerably. And they are first to visit the things that have, they've been hiding from over the years, you know. Those things they've refused to confront, the memories of the past that they've refused to tidy up properly, those dark secrets, you know, habits left unattended to their hurts that are still very fresh with just a scalp covering up, you know. So all these things will begin to surface in the lockdown, causing mental instability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we don't have a culture of uh, seeking help, you know what I mean, in terms of counselling uh, in this part of the world. So how would it, an average person, an average Nigerian get help during this time? Well, we have to continue to put the word out there, encouraging people to open up. And when an opportunity comes up, comes up for us to do this, we must seize it. Like I said, I'm a professional counsellor, and I notice that things are changing of late. People are beginning to seek help. And one of the things we tell people to do in the institute I belong to is to shame shame. You know, that is, that there's nothing new under the sun. Open up and receive the much needed help. So it's important we put the word out there for people to know that it's 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 the days of hiding, the days of putting up a front are long gone. Yeah. I mean, I like what you just said. Now, did you say uh, shame, shame? Yes. Can you speak more about that? What what do you mean exactly? Okay. Um, what I mean by shaming, shame is just the way it is. Mm. Putting shame to shame. To shame. Telling yourself that well. I've made a mistake, I found, I found myself in this situation. There are so many people who have also gone through this path that I've gone through, so why do I have to hide? Mm -hmm. I'd rather seek help, I'd rather put myself out there and find the ne needed help, you know, at this point in time. So putting shame to shame is just the way to go. Mm -hmm. No need to hide, no need to do as if you're above mistake or you're above what you're going through. Just put it to shame and you'll find out that you are liberated. So that gives an individual the power to be able to speak out if I get you well. Absolutely. Now let's go to the next question, which is who are the people who are likely to be more at risk of mental health challenges at this time? Well, as many people who have not mastered what they allowed into their minds, mm. you know, as many people have unresolved negative issues, negative thoughts, we all know that we're some total of what we think about. So if you find yourself not, um, not have mastered the things that you allow into your mind, the tendency for you to slip into mental instability is very, very high. Mm. Yeah. So it's not, it's not um, maybe the poor, the rich, the young, or the old. No, it's anybody who hasn't been able to master this, this bit. Mm -hmm. More people are at home during this time because of the lockdown. Families are more together, uh, but there are also people who would have to work, those on essential duties. Generally speaking, how can yeah. we support one another in this area during this period? Yes, um, we need to call each other up more often. Um, we need to also mind the information we're taking, like I said. Um, another thing I tell people is exercise. Walk as far as a lockdown permits you in your neighborhood. Another thing that a lot of people are getting aware of nowadays is meditation. It's important that you meditate, do breathing exercises, you know. 
Another beautiful thing that we can encourage one another to do now is to journal. I do that daily. I go through my day to see what I've gone through, you know, and just put it down. Journal my life experiences and also even have a gratitude journal. Those things you're grateful for. Because if you're able to pen down the things that, you know, you're grateful for, you find out that the negative patterns begin to straighten out and it improves your mental well-being. Mm -hmm. Another thing that we can do is to affirm ourselves. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself the things you can do, who you are, the things you can do, the things you are capable of. You know, these are the things that can help uh, mental um, wellness in this season. Mm -hmm. There's another thing I tell people. Be Unfortunately, we have Don't to wrap it up yourself. there. Unfortunately, no. we have to wrap it up there. Thank you so oh. very much, Hayodeji Lawrence, for coming on the show and, you know, leaving us better informed. You're welcome. And keep You're safe. You're welcome. You're welcome.